In today's adventure, we're exploring the Lycoming Mall outside of Williamsport in North Central Pennsylvania. Opening in 1978, the mall saw a typical run of great initial success that ultimately began to slow around the turn of the century. The mid-2000s saw turnover among the anchor store tenants begin to ramp up. And while initial replacement tenants were secured, eventually that well dried up. In 2016, the mall was sold to a new owner, and a year later, Macy's and J.C. Penney closed up shop. Sears and the Bonton followed a year after that, and Dick's Sporting Goods closed near the end of 2021. Behind the scenes, the new owners have been operating the business at a less than optimal level. Tax assessment disputes, power to the building being turned off entirely, and several sheriff's sales being scheduled due to unpaid water and sewage bills, even as recently as May of 2022, are just a few of the issues that have plagued the mall. The owners are holding on though, and making necessary payments to retain ownership of the building, but things are clearly not headed in the right direction. The current, almost transitional state of things was confusing at best. All right, so there are actually several, several, there are a few cars here, um, a little more than I was expecting. They're mainly outside of the couple of anchor stores, anchor, I guess, you know, Books A Million and uh, what's the other one that's over there. I don't remember. Um, but I picked the busiest uh, entrance, at least with cars to come and uh, use to give this uh, place a fighting chance. So uh, with there being more people here, I'm guessing there's security. So uh, put in the comments whether or not you think I get asked to leave and uh, we will see. But for now, let us check out the Lycoming Mall. Let's see how this is. more of what I expected. I still don't understand why this was the busiest entrance, as it's clearly one of the most dead corners of the mall. There was some life in this place that we'll see in a bit, but why people came and went through this entrance, I don't know. Well, it kind of seems like they have a lot of the stores compartmentalized, at least. Like, this end of the mall is clearly dead, but pretty sure there's at least, like, I don't know, there's a handful of stores still open and I saw people at the other end uh, wandering around so maybe they've got them I don't know if compartmentalized is the right word but um, yeah Champ Sports was still open. Same with Foot Locker. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so... This mall is very strange. The closer I got to the center of the mall, the livelier and more normal it got. I definitely had a hard time figuring this place out. The odd obsession though with car displays was an easy reminder that even though this seemed normal, it was most likely a show to some extent. Well, these are really cool. I don't know if I've seen that before. That's the first anchor store in like half a dozen malls that I've been to that actually is open to the inside of the mall. I 
but that could be. So Hallmark, Hallmark will be closed in a few days. The Bath and Body Works still going strong. Oh, this must have been where the Dick Sporting Goods used to be. Gotta tell you, this is a first. Turning an anchor store into a climate controlled. Uh, storage unit place. So all things considered, this mall's not in too bad a shape, especially if you ignore that other end. It's got these little pockets of still okay. And this is nice. I just let the camera roll here as I noticed the entire side of this wing was empty. I stopped partway down, but it was something like six or seven rather large retail spaces in a row, all just sitting vacant. Community yard sale, flea market. Second Saturdays, I guess today's not a second Saturday. That might be the single most depressing arcade I've ever seen. Well, no, the most depressing was in Breezewood. But that's definitely a close second. Consolidated is the word I was looking for earlier. They seem to have consolidated a lot of their stores into one area. I don't know if that was on purpose or what, but it's kind of like, I don't know if this is right or not, so people will have to correct me, but it's kind of like when your body starts shutting down, how uh, it starts focusing and diverting its tension, its attention uh, to your core at the expense of your limbs. It's like they know that this place is operating on borrowed time and so they're just trying to concentrate their energy to the center of the place. Because the center of the mall is vastly different, just has a vastly different feel, even from each of the wings. This is, looks like it's a, like a JCPenney or Sears. They've clearly turned off the heat in there. So this is something new I've never seen before. These blacked out marks. I mean, it like it's kind of in it's in between just not bothering anymore and printing out a whole new one that looks nice. 
So I guess. Oh my goodness, another one of these. So apparently, I have a phobia of little kids' mall rides that scream things out randomly. But yeah, like I was saying, I guess this mall going by what I've seen in the directory <laughs> that it's somewhere in between dead and thriving. Like it seems like it's on its way out. But it's not quite as bad as some of the other ones. Wings like this that go down to what used to be anchor stories that just, I mean, most malls, this one included, are generally pretty outdated, but this just looks... I mean... I don't know. It, it's, it's obvious and whatever to say, but it just looks so outdated, even more so than the other ones, or than the rest of the mall. Using a large chunk of the mall as a display case for cars is interesting. I just heard a lady say that Foot Locker just closed, so that explains why I thought it was still open. So yeah, this is definitely a mall that's in, in uh, flux at the moment, in some kind of transition period. I have never seen or accidentally interrupted so many mall walkers in my life. There are a bunch of people here and 90% of them are mall walkers that I keep getting in the way of. Like I was saying, and I just threw three of them right here. Compared to other malls in the area, the Lycoming Mall at least gives the impression it's trying to figure itself out. However, I'm all but certain any future changes will be too little too late, as the mall is likely past the point of no return. <laughs>